Hey, this is Michael Lindsay with Vital MX. I'm here with my good friend Chad Braun from XPR Motorsports. We're under the Moto Concepts Honda tent. We got Vince Freeze's CRF250R, and as we were posting last couple days, the big thing kind of flowing around the pits is electric water pumps. Uh, Chad, me and you've actually talked about this. Towards the end of last summer, we'd heard that the HRC team was running. I came to you, we were running our team, and you admitted to me you had actually been working on something similar for a decent amount of time. It wasn't new news to you, it was to me. <sighs> It's here. It's on Vince's bike. Um, I mean, put it simply, I jokingly called it a fad yesterday. I'm being a smart ass. There's actually a couple of really good reasons why they're on the motorcycle. Um, let's start with it from the, your standpoint of why have you introduced it to this bike with Vince? With this bike, uh, when we started modifying it and making power out of it, and we had a bit of a heat concern, so we decided, A, I'm going to revisit the electric water pump to see if we can help that situation and in testing it did seem to make a pretty substantial difference with it um, so that's kind of where it all started you know because we had very little time to get this new bike up and running to be able to race Anaheim 1 mm -hmm. so um, we uh, we tested it we track tested it and it you know the feedback was very positive so we, we yeah. went with it and clearly the bike under Vince looks good on track right now. I, I'm extremely impressed. Um, other than cooling, there's actually a power character change here because by going to electric water pump, you are actually removing the mechanical water pump that's in the motor. There's less drag, there's stuff going on there. Uh, when somebody like Vince rides, is it immediate just like, oh, it's like adding a cam or this power wise, or is it really changing the character or feel of the bike? Yeah, no, for sure. There, there is a power increase. Uh, one of the things noticeable right off the bat is removing that mechanical seal. There's less drag, so the response with the motor is is a lot better. So it, it seemed to make a really big difference with that and, and then also with power. So cool. Uh, overall, I mean, from here, it just looks like you plug it in from one end to the other. It is, uh, I'm guessing, not a very easy project. No, it, it definitely wasn't. It's hard to cram something like that into the, such a tight space to make sure that it's not going to get damaged or knocked around or, you know, and then wire it properly. So it, it was a bit of a challenge for sure. You know, that was probably the hang up with yeah. putting it on in the first place. Yeah. Uh, let's put the simple one. Somebody gives you a phone call on Monday. Uh, what, what would be your answer to somebody? Does the general Joe Bo need this? Is this at the, at the absolute high end of racing level or? Well, oddly enough, I mean, we got quite a bit of response from it already. Yep. So um, yeah, I guess we'll have to work on, on getting something, you know, more polished for the people that want it, you know. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll have to do it. <laughs> cool, well, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about it, call XPR Motorsports. Uh, Chad's one of the few people that you can get pretty much factory level power out of uh, to the oh. general consumer. Thank you.